Hey, welcome back to another episode of What We Ate at Disney. It has been one year since our last trip, and a lot of things have changed. We just came back from our second trip and would like to share with you what it's like to visit Disney during the pandemic. If you're curious to see what we ate, please jump ahead to the time that is shown on the screen. We had another video about the food at Disney last year, which includes even more wonderful food. You can click the link in the description below to see the previous video. As the parks are closed early compared to normal, this time we also visited several great Asian restaurants in Orlando. Please keep watching to check them out if you're interested. So you might be curious, how is it to visit Disney during a pandemic? The quick answer is we felt very safe. Disney World has enhanced health and safety measures. Face coverings are required for all the guests, even when they're taking pictures. You'll need a mask everywhere, except while, you know, in these special zones. It's a good response. Very safe. Social distancing is everywhere. Anywhere you'd need to stand or sit or wait anywhere, you have these designated lines that are six feet apart. In the rides and the shows, everywhere in line, and in restaurants and on the monorail, even in the parking lot. Another good thing is there are hand sanitizer dispensers everywhere. So you just ride your ride or do whatever you're doing and then just hand sanitize after and you feel pretty safe. The park also pays a lot of effort in reducing contact. The My Disney Experience mobile app is super helpful during this trip as the majority of dining places require using their mobile order service. You'll need to order food from the app and it will send you a notification once the food is ready. And then you're allowed to enter the restaurant to pick up your food. For the table service restaurants, you'll have to check in on the app first, and then you can only enter the restaurant when your table is ready. So overall, on our trip to Disney, we felt very safe. All the other guests we saw were following the health and safety measures. Everyone is wearing masks. They're all being socially distant. We felt like we had a very low risk of catching COVID. So let's get into what we actually ate while we were at Disney. Before heading to the park, we have always had our breakfast at IHOP near the hotel that we stay. We went to Hollywood Studios on our first day and our meal was full on Italian food all day. For the pre-lunch, we went to uh, Pizza Rizzo by the, the Muppets. The pickup process was very quick and smooth. We uh, used the app like we mentioned before to order our food and then just notified us when it's ready. Picked it up, ate it, easy peasy. We shared a vegetable pizza we're not vegetarian, but the picture looked really tempting from the app. Here's how it looks in real life. It looks great. The crust part is very fluffy, and there's also a Caesar salad side that came with the pizza. My favorite part of this meal was the dessert. We ordered a cannoli. The cannoli has a crunchy outside, and it's filled with this lemon cream inside. And the ends are dipped in this delicious chocolate. For our real lunch, we had a reservation at Mama Melrose's at 3 p.m. That's why we had the pre-lunch earlier. It was a little bit of a late lunch. Inside the restaurant, it's very pretty. It's decorated to make you feel like you're dining under the stars in Italy. We ordered a carafe of sangria, and it's probably one of the best sangrias I've ever had. It's very sweet, very refreshing on a hot day in Orlando. What I like most about the drink is the aftertaste. You get this nice rush of citrusy flavor. Thinking about it while editing this video really makes me want one. For entree, I ordered the shrimp campanelli, which I really enjoyed. The sauce, creamy and flavorful, the spinach added a nice balance to the dish, and the shrimp was delicious, perfectly cooked. My wife had the fish of the day dish, which ended up being salmon, paired with grilled asparagus. I especially liked the puttanesca sauce, which they used in the pasta. It had a very robust flavor that paired perfectly with the fish. For dessert, we shared a super yummy tiramisu. It is soft and creamy, chocolatey, well-balanced with coffee liqueur, absolutely delightful and i'm super happy with my dessert choice the next day we decided to go to magic kingdom after walking around for a while and riding rides we saw many people holding giant turkey legs and we decided hey let me get some of that turkey leg for the taste <laughs> i've definitely had better turkey almost everywhere else but it was very tempting because you know we're so allured by everyone who's holding it and has it was a great position we got to grab a turkey leg and you know watch a mini parade pass by if you're tired and you just want a quick snack or you have a lot of people to feed you got kids or something it's not bad it's definitely the bang for your buck it'll it'll feed you but if you're looking for a great turkey i think any barbecue restaurant would have better we shared this leg with two people and we were really full after we didn't have anything else uh, for lunch just the leg and we jumped directly to our dessert at the uh, aloha isle my wife had their classic pineapple float the bottom part is pineapple juice and we chose the swirl pineapple and vanilla flavor 
For me, I tried their Kakamura float, which is on their limited time offering items. The Kakamura are cute coconut characters that are a band of pirates in the Moana movie. So the ice cream, as you'd expect, is coconut flavored. I really loved it. It was a hot day, and so it was very refreshing. The bottom part of the float is pineapple juice with blue curacao syrup. The syrup brought some nice citrusy flavors and the blue color to the drink. It made it look really cool and very appetizing. This drink also comes with a Kakamura cake pop. It's like a brownie encased in chocolate. It's delicious. The park closed early every day on our trip, so we decided to eat a lot of food for dinner outside. Our first dinner was at Susuru, about 15 minutes drive from Disney World. This restaurant is decorated with some vintage Japanese signs. It makes it feel very authentic. We ordered a snack called Chicken Courage. It's a Japanese fried chicken, Zumeo. We also tried one of their signature dishes called Susuru Gohan. It's a Japanese rice with soy cured raw egg yolk. So before you eat it, you just mix everything in the bowl. The rice itself was seasoned with sweet aged soy and nori and sesame seed. It's definitely something that was new to me and I really liked the taste. To complete our meal, we also ordered some vegetable yakitori. Yakitori is like barbecue on a stick and this tempura fried king oyster mushroom. The downside of this dish was because of the structure of the king mushroom, it's impossible to eat unless you eat the entire thing in one bite. To pair with our meal, we ordered a Japanese draft beer and their special cocktail, Godzilla. It normally comes with a Godzilla toy on the top, but they were sold out that day, so they took off $3 instead. I also tried one of their whiskey cocktails called Oh Behave. It was a nice cocktail. It had whiskey, honey, and, and it tasted great. Our second dinner was at the Volcano Hot Pot, about 10 minutes drive from Disney. The restaurant styling is very modern. You can choose barbecue and hot pot. You pick your broth first, and then you go and grab what you want to cook. They have a bunch of different choices in here from seafood to meats to vegetables. And then you bring them back to your table and you put them in the broth and let it cook. You can also make your own dipping sauce. My favorite sauce is a very simple combination. It's sesame oil, oyster sauce, garlic, and cilantro. It's super delicious with almost everything you put in the pot. Among all of the ingredients, I especially like the fatty beef. It literally takes seconds to cook. You dump it in there for like five seconds maybe and it's done. I recommend you try it if you haven't before. On our last day, before we left, we had our breakfast at a dim sum place in Orlando. It was about 30 minutes drive from Disney, which is why we saved it for our final day. I really like the process that you pick from the menu and you just check, take off what you like. We had some traditional dim sum items such as shrimp dumplings, rice rolls, buns, etc. And the price was super reasonable. For so many things, it only cost about 30 bucks. Among all of my favorite dishes is the bun with the lotus seed filling in the middle. It's sweet, creamy, and a little like fluffy, cute bun. Voila, that was our trip to Disney this time. Thank you so much for watching until the end. We hope this video will give you some info if you are considering traveling to Disney soon. And after staying home for every day for nearly a year now, this trip really brings us a lot of joy and happiness that we haven't experienced in a while. The most important thing was that we felt safe. And now we're back at home, we're feeling recharged and happy, and we're hoping to, to, to skate this out until the end of this pandemic. We hope you and your loved ones will stay safe and have a better 2021.